I am Abija Wajohi from Kirinyaga County in Kenya. And I love the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And my desire is to be with him when he comes the second time. I started hearing about one true God last year. But the people who are worshipping with us, when they left Oyugis in April, they brought this message and in a very deep and uh, hurried way. It was a difficult decision to move from the nominal Adventists. It's the church I've been for the last 33 years because I was baptized in 1986. So I had a quite desire. I mean, I was, my mind was as if it was bogged. I didn't know whether to join the Church of One True God or to still continue in the nominal Adventist. Mm -hmm. But I decided one Sabbath that I have to come to, to join the others as we worship the true God. So we, I decided to join the group which was worshiping in Embu at PI. And since I joined this church, I have learned a lot of things, more than the ones I had learned 33 years ago. And was that I, when you had joined the Seventh-day Adventist Church? Yeah, in 1986. Okay. Right. I, and this short period from April, there's a great difference even in my Christian walk because I try and I pray always to ask the Lord to help me to be at the feet of Jesus every day mm -hmm. so that I'm able to conquer sin. And my family, my husband is not a believer, my children, even my brothers and sisters. So I've not discussed them. I have not discussed anything with them so far. But I'm praying the Lord to help me so that I may be able to explain to them why I've moved from the mainstream or Adventist and joined the one true God. Mm -hmm. I still miss that church because I had friends and I thought they were true friends. But when I came to this church, uh, we don't communicate much. And if we, if we do is hi, hi, no details about religion. Yeah. And that one makes me sad and sick. I usually pray for them, asking the Lord to help them to know this truth because, because this is the way to heaven, to know the only true God and Jesus Christ whom he has sent. Amen. So I miss them, but I pray for them. And when I came here, since that time, I learned something new every day, mm -hmm. every day. And Amen. the information I get it really surprises me and ask myself, where has this all this information been? And where have I been all the time? But I thank the Lord because He has come into my life in my old age. Yeah. He has allowed me to see, to accept this light before I sleep in the dust of the earth. Mm -hmm. So I have hope that when He comes again, I'll meet Him in the air. And also I'll be amongst the 144,000. And Yesterday, that's the day I learned. My baptism in 1986 was about getting into the church. But when I was baptized yesterday, it's, I was bapti baptized into the truth. Amen. So I thank God for that. And I really ask him to continue holding my hand and move on. I help me to be an ambassador for this ministry until he comes the second time. May God bless you. Amen. Amen. So I have one question. Yes. <laughs> Does, does this experience for you make you despise the Seventh-day Adventist Church, the corporate mainstream? No, 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 no. It doesn't. It doesn't make me despise. It was a stepping stone. Just as you, are, you move from one place to the other, mm -hmm. it was a stepping stone. Because surely, I don't think I could have started anywhere else apart from that one, and then come to this movement. Because if I were still in Sunday, I could not have joined the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Yeah. Our family is a family of, uh, we are a family of, of influence in our locality, even where my parents were in the church, Anglican church. Mm -hmm. Even now, it's a big family of influence. So if I, could, if I was still there, I could not have joined the church because we have, we have family gatherings, we have parties all the time. We go places all the time. I don't see why I could have joined. So I don't regret being a Seventh-day Adventist nomino and joining this one. Amen. Yeah, I don't. So you're it. praying for them. You're not yeah, I despising do. them. I don't. I, I don't. How can I? And this is God's mercy, Pastor. Amen. I can't. This is God's grace. 
Amen. There's nothing for me to be proud of. Yes. It's God's grace. Amen. Yeah, it's God's grace. And I, th I thank him so much, Pastor. Because when I joined the Seventh-day Adventist, I was, my children were small. They were above, but well, they were not yet in primary school. Here we call primary school. So I thank God for giving me an opportunity to know him in a deeper way in my old age. Mm -hmm. So my desire is to portray and to acquire Christ's character as I move on. Growing old, I grow in his grace and his love towards my older brethren, even in my new brethren, inviting them to come and join. When the pastor learned that I, I no longer attend, he came and instead of asking me a few questions, he had a, he had a book where he had written the questions he, was to ask, he wanted to ask me. And I wish he could have come and asked me direct what I know, what I believe, instead of coming the list of questions. Huh. He could have learned more and he could have learned me better. But he had a list of questions and he told me, he's given me another week and then he'll come again. I told him, don't bother to come, I'll tell you the time to come. But I didn't want to discuss anything. So after a few weeks, I got a letter to, be, to appeal if I want to join the church, if I have any questions, I go. I didn't appeal because they said I had apostatized. Uh -huh. So I didn't go to appeal because I didn't see why I should go and appeal. I've learned the truth and I've loved this truth. It makes me feel humbled before my savior. Mm -hmm. So the next time they went and they disfellowshiped me they didn't ask me to go for a church board or anything. But I asked the church clerk, why did you disfellowship me without calling me to talk in the church board? Said, you said you won't come, you won't join, you won't appeal. Say fine, but that lady, we are still talking with her. I've given her some papers to read mm -hmm. and uh, we are going to meet with her after the camp meeting so that we can, we can learn more about Jesus. Amen. Because she asked me, I told her, when God said, let us create man in our own image. According the Kukui Bible says in Pruro, in another language, which I mentioned, if I mentioned, you won't understand. Mm -hmm. But I told her, desire, I mean, early writings, the fall of Satan. It is very well explained there that when God told his son, let us create man in our own image, that's the time Satan felt jealous of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So here we don't see the third God, Holy Spirit. This is Father calling his son. We create man in our own image. Let us, me, your father, and you, my son. Mm -hmm. God, the Spirit, Holy Spirit is not there. Yeah. So I give her that verse. And other verses she can, she can read from Desire of Age, uh, from Great Controversy, mm -hmm. and her uh, writings. So I hope she read. Good. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So you're praying for these people. You're not trying to... Uh push them out as though they, you don't care for them. No, 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 no. I'm praying for them. Good. I'm praying for them. And the ones we share, yeah. WhatsApp, I usually give, send them some messages, but they never reply. Oh, really? Yeah, I do send some quotations, and they never reply. Huh. Yeah. So now you were disfellowshipped without ever coming to the meeting, you said? Yeah, I never attended any meeting. You just got a letter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No visit, no care, no love, except for the pastor asking questions? The, some two ladies came, the one we were coming for prayers here with, and I told them I cannot, I, I'm not coming back. Then the church elder came with his wife and somebody else. I told them, you come one day, I told the church elder, you come one day so that we can sit and discuss, I tell you where I went. She, he never came, he, they came with the pastor. Then when he came with the pastor, uh, he tried to explain to me, asking me questions, which he had written somewhere, which were very relevant. They were Did very you relevant. say relevant or irrelevant? I irrelevant. Okay. Yeah. I wish he, I'm saying, he, I wish he came without anything to pretend that he doesn't know anything so that I could have explained to him hmm. in a better way than asking me, you say all oh, the pastors are Jesuits? You know those questions. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so he said he would give me another date, but I didn't want to discuss. I didn't want to discuss. So that's the time they decided to hold, to hold a church board and write a letter, and then to disfellowship me. Now, were you disfellowshipped with other people or just you? We were two. We are two. 
we are two here. And they did the same thing to the other person? Yeah, too? nobody, no one, no one, no one was called to the church board. Wow. No one. So you you wish they would have done it differently? I wish they would. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So really, we should be continuing to pray that our previous church, the Seventh Day Adventist nominal or corporate church, would respect the belief of others. They should. And they don't just, or shouldn't just cast them out without giving them a proper hearing and careful study, mm -hmm. prayerfully looking at what we're bringing up. Is that right? Yeah. And also, they instead of this fellowship being us with the Bible, this is the church manual. They do. That's what they use. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which is not manual. right because I, when I was coming to church, I was not with them. I wasn't taught with the manual. Is the Bible. And also, when I was being baptized in 1986. I was baptized in the name God the Father and His Son Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Trinity God was not there. And now you're getting kicked out because of no. the Trinity God and you're yeah. not accepting it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for your time and God bless you. Thank you so much, Pastor.